Hey guys, welcome back to The Art of Craftsmanship. My name's Dustin, and today in the shop we're gonna be making a marking knife out of an old file. Really simple project, you don't have to do any heat treating, all you have to have is an old rusty file and something to grind with. And we just got finished making the kukri, and this knife definitely pushed me to my limits as a knife maker with all the multiple bevels and the interior curve, handle, everything. The complexity of this knife was definitely you know, something that took me a while to do, but it'd be nice to follow that video up with this video, which is gonna be a really simple marking knife, something that anybody can do. Um, we came up with a couple different designs that we like because I'll actually be making two knives today, one for myself and one for Devin. So what we like is a little bit different, our design's gonna be a little bit different, and at the end of the video, you guys can tell us which ones you like the best. These are both one inch mill files from Nicholson. Uh, these have not been annealed, they're straight hard files. Uh, these will work really well. I'm gonna take them over to the wire wheel and clean off all the rust first. These are both gonna be a, about six inches long, so I'm gonna measure up from the bottom of the file up. And I'm gonna trim off part of the tang on the file as well, but not all of it, because I actually wanna leave some room to be able to put a lanyard hole in that space. All right, well these are really hard. They're, it's cutting through but really slow instead of completely ruining my, uh, my bandsaw blade. I'm just gonna trim these off with the four inch angle grinder. I'm setting the angle for the top point of my marking knife and I've seen anywhere from 50 to 75 degrees. I kind of like the drawing that I did here and I, so I measured that and so I'm setting my angle to 65 degrees. My next step before I grind in the bevels is actually flattening the backside. I want to remove the teeth off the backside, at least in the top two inches or so of the blade. That needs to be flat on the back so that when you're sharpening these, you have a flat side and you have a beveled side.
heating up the very end of the blade where I'm going to drill my lanyard hole. And you can see I wrapped a wet rag around the blade to keep it from overheating. But I'm focusing my heat on the very end, so it shouldn't be a problem. And I can see it's almost already that gray color that I want to soften that steel. <laughs> it wasn't too hard, it just sounded like a crazy person. Whew. I'm going to use my angle finder to find 25 degrees, which is about the angle that I'm going for for my actual bevels. And I can adjust my tool rest and my platen to get that angle. That way I can actually keep my blade completely flat on the tool rest and move it up to the platen to get a perfectly flat bevel. As I'm grinding this, I'm watching the water dry, watching it move across the blade and dry. I know when the water's dry, it's hot. So I kind of keep pressure on the back of the blade, work toward the tip when that tip is dry. I don't put any more pressure more than another second before I dip it. Because if I do, if I overheat that tip, then I lose the hardness of the blade. Okay, both of our bevels are done and they're looking 
really nice. Uh, if you are happy with this the way it is, you could be done with this, hand sharpen it up, and you're in business. But we want to actually add a little bit more kind of character to these, so we're going to taper uh, both of them down from the bevel down to the end a little bit to give it a kind of a nice taper. And then on Devin's, I'm going to add in kind of some uh, some curves on both sides, kind of where your thumbs will go if you're holding onto it. So we'll do that now, and then uh, we're almost there. we have both of these tapered I'm gonna add kind of a finger mark kind of grooves on both sides like a slow uh, half circles another thing that's kind of cool that I found out is these have become magnetized while I'm working on them which is fascinating I don't know exactly why any scientists out there you can drop a comment down below let us know Scotch right belt will smooth over all the edges so it's not so sharp in the hand. We're almost there. These babies are done. They are very nice. They feel great. The last thing I need to do is just do a quick hand sharpening on maybe a 600 grit sandpaper. You can go up to really, really high, but for these for marking wood, we'll flatten the bottoms, do the bevels, and they'll be ready to go.
All right, guys, well, these turn out super nice. I'm super excited with how this turned out, and I love both of these designs. Devin's has kind of the finger marks on both sides to hold on to, which actually kind of gave me some nice grip when I was sharpening it. Mine's just a simple design with the taper. I like them both. Uh, you guys can decide which ones you like better. Let us know in the comments. Uh, these both work really well, and they're really sharp. Uh, they sharpen up really nice, and I uh, hand sharpened up to a thousand grit, but for what they're used for, marking wood, put down your tool, mark it, it's perfect. These are really nice sharp tips, which for kind of splitting and, kite and kind of cutting up paper that way, not that they're designed that way, but definitely a really sharp tip, a really sharp tool. And these are really easy to make. It's one of those things you guys can do in your shop. You don't need a lot of tools, you kind of take an old file, grind it down, you don't have to worry about heat treating as long as you keep that blade cool throughout your bevel grinding. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow both of us on Instagram at The Art of Craftsmanship and at The Art of Camera Guy. You can check out our new podcast, The Art of Craftsmanship podcast on the Makery Network. And if you feel like you got something out of these videos and you want to support the channel, you can always go over to Patreon and check us out there. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.